When assessing if a child is ready to be toilet trained, you are wanting to look at several cues. There are several as aspects of development that you would want to be there in your child before you decide if the child is ready or not. Having uh, them to relate that they need to go to the party to eliminate themselves or also having some verbal skills to be able to communicate maybe some social skills looking at their peers what they are doing so regarding methods of potty training there is no consensus for some people um, just reading a book about potty training is enough for some other kiddos they like to imitate their parents or their older siblings for some other kids if it is a part of a chore then and then rewarding them at the end of the behavior might motivate them so what we have to remember is we do not have to be rigid and follow any particular way of toilet training we might want to take our kiddos along with us when we are like you know going for a potty seat shopping so that they can have a say in what they want to do and what they want to have once you bring the uh, potty chair in the house then you can write their name on it or you can let them play with it or let them like you know set it where they want it to be set it does not have to be in the bathroom it could be in their bedroom as well for ease of access and then having them uh, like you know after they have eaten after their meals you can ask them to have a sit on the pot the goal is not for them to have a bowel or a bladder movement in their potty seat it's just that habit of going and sitting and then standing up rewards after a successful potty training can be as simple as giving uh, your child a hug maybe really praising her and doing a little dance like yay that is what we want from you and also maybe some tangible rewards like maybe getting her a small sticker if she has not had accidents for a week you could get her a small toy keeping small goals small achievable goals and if she achieves those goals and if we reward her then she sees this as a positive experience that she would be motivated to do no matter what we decide the idea would be for it to be in a stress-free environment and to always be very positive about it and always do uh, positive reinforcements. Potty training journey can be a very pleasant experience, but at the same time, it can be a very stressful journey for both parents and kids. Your ARC pediatrician can definitely help you with different tips and techniques to help you through your toilet training journey.